Ukraine mobilizes more men for army, but there are not enough armored vehicles for them. After months of controversy, a new mobilization law has finally come into force in Ukraine. The law lowers the age for conscription into the army from 27 to 25 and provides penalties for draft dodgers. As stated in the Forbes article, the reforms are expected to significantly expand the army, but there is not enough heavy equipment for all these new troops. This is a problem. Just ask the Russians, who have lost more than 15,000 armored vehicles in Ukraine and are trying to replace them. No wonder more and more Russians are going into battle in open golf carts and vintage military tractors from the 1950s with thin armor, the publication writes. Demechanization of Russian mechanized units will likely lead to slower and more limited advances, which will hamper the overall advance of Russian forces, Ukrainian think tank Frontelligence Insight explained. Ukrainian forces risk the same devolution. The Ministry of Defense in Kyiv is forming 10 new brigades with a strength of 2,000 people, expanding some battalions into brigades, transferring a lightly equipped territorial brigade to the Marine Corps, and adding an artillery brigade to the National Guard. In general, the changes could increase the brigades of the Ukrainian ground forces by about 10%. The army is forming five new infantry brigades, the 156th, the 157th, the 158th and 159th infantry brigades are not motorized infantry brigades, meaning they lack the tracked armored vehicles that mechanized troops use to go into battle. The shortage of heavy equipment in Ukraine is so acute that one recently formed mechanized brigade, the 153rd, was actually transferred from a mechanized unit to an infantry unit. Ukrainians are not quite ready to ride golf carts into battle. But that could change if the vehicle shortage worsens. Since Russia launched its war against Ukraine, Kyiv has received about 7,500 armored vehicles from its foreign allies and has also recovered thousands of older Soviet-era vehicles from long-term storage. These more than 10,000 vehicles joined the thousands of vehicles that were already in service at the start of the invasion. Ukraine has lost about 5,000 pieces of equipment on the battlefield and the demand for it is constantly growing as the Ukrainian armed forces have expanded. The United States is doing its part to reduce these shortages. The first three relief packages of the $61 billion in fresh funding included hundreds of M2 combat vehicles, M113 armored personnel carriers and armored trucks. But even these hundreds of vehicles are not enough. It is safe to say that the increase in the size of the Ukrainian army significantly outpaced its mechanization. The fact that most of the newest brigades are infantry is proof of this. Two ships have sunk as ice drifted in the Zagansk region of Russia's Yakutia Republic. According to Russian media reports, the ice drifting occurred on the Lena River the day before the sinking of the ships. Three tugboats, one tanker and six empty barges were laid up in the area. During the ice drift, they began to be pulled downstream. There were 35 people on these ships during the incident. Some 18 people were evacuated, and 17 remained there to carry out work with no threat to their lives and health. The tanker, Captain Burkovsky, and the sea tug, Sofran Danilov, completely sank. The ship, Captain Burkovsky, received damage to the hull and began to sink. The crew was evacuated. Work was carried out on the ship to pump out water and weld, but this did not help prevent the sinking that occurred at 1920 local time. The tug Captain Kurchatov was pushed ashore, the tanker Mechanic Vinokurov and six barges are laid up, the Regional Ministry of Transport reported. The head of Zagansk region, Vasily Sorokin said that the relevant authorities were notified about the incident on a timely manner and the evacuation was successful. The situation is under control, Danilov said, adding that a representatives of the Yakutsk Republic's transport administration had arrived at the scene of the incident. Previously, those who were on board of the ship were able to get ashore on their own. With the assistance of the administration of the Zagansk district, they were taken to a temporary accommodation center in Zagansk. Bo, Titanic. Oh, long shallow baller. Oh, 
Ooh, but what Или до кулата он тимирите. Тимирте. Ох, кордор бит не тюхенер. Тимиренер. Hayatta fotoğrafı sevindir.